guys, it's Sonia. So in this video, I'm gonna try and cook a French omelet according to Anthony Porowski from Queer Eye. I got this idea based off of a video I saw where Tan was actually trying to make the French omelet uh, taught by Anthony. So I thought I could try and do the same, um, especially because I've never made a French omelet before. I think I've only seen it being made like twice and one of those times was when I actually saw that video. So this will hopefully turn out well, right? So I don't know if you guys know anything about Queer Eye, um, and I've only been actually watching just the most recent seasons myself, but it's this show where five gay guys basically make over someone's life using their respective specialties. And I absolutely love it. It's the most inspiring and heartwarming series I've ever watched, and I really strongly encourage you guys to go watch it as well. But anyway, this video is about cooking and attempts at cooking. So without further ado, let's go. So you're gonna need two eggs and straight off the bat, busting a nutrition myth here, the different colored eggs doesn't mean one type is more nutritious than the other. It just means that it's from a different breed of chicken. Any egg is a good source of high quality protein with loads of fat soluble vitamins and B vitamins in the yolk. You will need grated cheese as well, preferably something that can melt, such as cheddar or the original cheese from this recipe, Gruyere. You will need chives, both as a decorative piece and potentially something you could put into the omelette itself. I had a lot of fun with this bad boy actually, pretended it was a sort of a whip and made me feel like a dietitian version of Indiana Jones. Next, you'll need salt and also pepper, but since I don't have black pepper in my house, I'll just leave it out in this video. And finally, you'll need some oil. The original recipe actually calls for butter, but again, I don't usually buy butter, and so I thought I'd give olive oil a try, since it's a more heart-healthy fat. And that's it! A pretty simple ingredients list, don't you think? And here I am, presenting the chives like a prized steel sword? Alright. So you're gonna want to chop your chives into small, fine pieces. My cleaver here, no matter how big it is, it's not very sharp, so you'll probably do a lot better than me uh, with your own knife. Also, I picked up the chives that were flatter and wider, which is a type that you commonly see in Asian grocery stores. Feel free to use either this one or the thinner chives, but I think the thinner chives might look a bit better um, and cleaner if you want to present this dish well. So we're going to put on a nice low heat. Now I don't have the same stove top as Anthony does in that video, so I'm just going to put it a little bit higher. Now here I am, casually bragging that I can open an egg with one hand. Is this the right way to do it, or the safest way to do it? Probably not, but it looks cool. So like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to be using oil instead of butter. And at this point, I think I was focusing a bit on the camera as well, so I might have added a bit too much salt. You should wait till it forms a little bit and you can see it start to just sort of like fold over on the side. So the chopsticks allow for a really small curd, and I learned these from a lot of Japanese YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really good little hack. Because if you use a spatula, I feel like I get larger curdles, and then yeah. it makes it a little harder to fold afterwards. And it is very satisfying breaking apart mm -hmm. the edges. So it's nicely uniform, and you fill up all the little crevices. Bring it along to the edge of the pan, and then our gruyere, or cheddar as Tim calls it. Oh, the edges. Yeah, we're going generous. My pan's not as oiled up, so I have to make sure that the egg is not sticking. And here I am just adding the extra chives that I have into the omelet itself. You guys have no idea how nerve-wracking it was to fold this thing. All right, so it's not perfect, but all in all, I'd say this was a pretty damn good attempt at a French omelet. And it was really delicious with rich flavor from the cheese and chives.
but hopefully there's a day where I can show you guys how I can absolutely make the perfect French omelet. I hope this was pretty enjoyable and if you liked it, please smash like and subscribe for more of this nonsense and also future nutrition tips uh, as well. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. So basically cooking attempts and basically trying new things that I've never learned to cook before. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.